Meaningfully addressing the needs of child and youth mental health across Canada is a complex challenge. Developing good mental health literacy is a vital step. Mental health literacy is a part of overall health literacy and has four interrelated components. Developing the skills to obtain and maintain positive mental health, increasing understanding of common disorders and their treatments, reducing stigma towards mental illness, and increasing our ability to get help when we need it. While it's important for everyone to develop good mental health literacy, it's especially important for youth. MentalHealthLiteracy.org offers two key freely available classroom resources that can be embedded into everyday classroom teaching and learning. So let's explore the Mental Health and High School Curriculum Guide and the Elementary Mental Health Literacy Resource. The Mental Health and High School Curriculum Guide is designed to be a classroom-ready mental health literacy resource to be taught by classroom teachers in grades 7 to 12 classrooms to improve youth mental health. It has gone through two revisions to reflect the most up-to-date scientific knowledge in youth mental health. It has been extensively researched in many, many high schools in Canada and internationally through so research designs such as controlled studies, longitudinal cohort studies, and implementation science evaluations. The research has demonstrated substantial and significant evidence that this mental health literacy resource has improved knowledge, reduced stigma, and enhanced help-seeking intentions and behaviors, including the utilization of healthcare system among students and teachers alike. The elementary mental health literacy resource is a new mental health literacy resource for grades four to six students. Currently, we're working with more than 20 school districts, engaging more than 2,000 students in Alberta to pilot test its impact using the cross-sectional study design. I'd like to share about what we're doing in BC around mental health literacy. You know, it takes a concerted and coordinated approach to build student mental health literacy, teaching students using current best evidence-based resources, delivered by educators who themselves have a basic level of mental health literacy, and at the same time, preparing new educators in teacher education programs. It, it directly aligns with our district values because we are working on building mental health literacy. Teachers, EAs, bus drivers, basically if you are in our buildings in some context, we are trying to build your mental health literacy to the point now where we're starting to step out into the community and realize we need to get parents, we need to get grandparents, neighbors, coaches. I know from implementing it, it I'm seeing the benefits and I think the benefits are going to continue to grow. The most important benefit of the Mental Health and High School Curriculum Guide is that it can be customized for each school to use while still being evidence-based. It allows educators to explore the big ideas of mental health literacy while also providing an opportunity to bring in outside speakers and build in current events that relate to mental health and are relevant for students. By opening up conversations about mental health in our community across cultures. Edmonton Catholic Schools has included mental health literacy resources as an integral part of our mental health strategic plan because we want to take a really comprehensive approach that positively impacts our students, our staff, our teachers, and our parents. We really do appreciate their willingness and their flexibility to work with us at the division level to tailor the resources and build upon them in ways that we can enhance the needs of our school division to support student mental health through a common language and common vision. The Mental Health Curriculum Guide is really the only evidence-based Canadian mental health literacy resource that is designed specifically for use in our schools. Really the cornerstone is mental health literacy that aims at reducing barriers to learning. We are so fortunate and privileged to be able to utilize evidence-based resources that are quality and they really do support what is happening in our schools. Something I learned that I didn't know before taking the mental health unit was how different mental illnesses can be for everyone. Can help people notice the symptoms earlier so that they can get help. I think learning about mental health in school is important because it educates you on what other people could be going through. 
Something that stood out to me while taking the mental health unit was how much mental illnesses affected people around the world. I think it's important to learn about mental health in high school because you can recognize if you need help. I think learning about mental health in school is important because learning about your brain when you're younger will help you when you're older. It's because high school is a lot of pressure and having good ways to cope with pressure is a good thing. I like how open we can be when we are learning about mental health and mental illness. The way we are learning about it helps us to realize it should be okay to talk about it. I want to learn more about mental disorders and illness so I can assist others in what kind of help they need. Drawing on the evidence-based framework of the Mental Health and High School Curriculum Guide, we created the Elementary Mental Health Literacy Resource. This resource is developmentally informed and character-driven, designed to engage younger audiences. The elementary resource can be integrated into multiple classroom environments, including in-person, online, and hybrid instruction. Let's hear from educators, a caregiver, and students as they share their experiences with the Elementary Mental Health Literacy Resource. Elementary Mental Health Literacy, I think, meets a number of needs. It, similar to the high school one, it, it, it builds that foundation of literacy around mental health, knowing the differences between depression and disappointment, uh, mental health problems and illnesses, treatment options. But probably most importantly is we're planting those seeds early. So rolling out the elementary resource in the class has been really fun. Their favorite activity was building the brain where they could identify some of the key components that they already knew, but also add to some of the ones that they didn't know. They also really enjoyed learning about the mental disorders and talking about how they could relate based on their own experiences with mental disorder themselves or people that they knew. Having a mental health curriculum in schools is important to me because as we all know, our mental health is a significant part of our overall health. In phys ed and health classes at school, our kids are currently learning the importance of taking care of their bodies and their physical health. So it only makes sense that we extend that learning to include the importance of taking care of their brains and their mental health. And having the opportunity to learn about mental health in elementary school will set our kids up for success as they discover how to manage their mental health at a critical time in their development. It's engaging and relatable, and it will benefit our kids by teaching them a common language so they know how to talk about mental health. It will teach them the habits that will help them maintain good mental health, what stress really is, and how to manage it. And with all of this knowledge and understanding, the stigma surrounding mental illness will decrease as they learn that it's really about brain health and getting help early on. We all know that our teachers are the experts in sharing knowledge and increasing understanding in diverse subject areas. Competency in language literacy, numeracy, and physical literacy is a direct result of all of the work done in classrooms. So we can expect that teaching students about mental health in schools will result in those same increases in literacy and understanding. We can all play a part in reducing stigma, encouraging loved ones to get help when they need it, and supporting the healthy development of our youth and our communities. Why do you think it's important to learn about mental health in elementary? It's important to learn about mental health because it's basically just all around us. Everybody has it. Not one single person doesn't have it. We all do because you maybe be able to teach it to other younger kids when you're older. I think it's important for we can know what it feels like and when we can get help for it. I like the videos we watch and the mental health characters. I think I'm like Jared. It helped me learn about all the mental health disorders and it helped me in everyday life. Maybe they should do this for adults and teachers to help them if they have a mental illness and for them to learn more about it if somebody that they know or love has this they can give help. It's good for young people to learn that some people aren't the same as you and they have different minds. They might have a disorder and their mind works differently. Thank you for teaching us about mental health. We need to learn about it. The Mental Health and High School Curriculum Guide 
and the Elementary Mental Health Literacy Resource don't stand alone. They're supported by a range of professional development sessions and evidence-based resources that follow the learner through their educational journey, supporting students to become a mental health literate generation. So if you're an educator or an educational leader looking to improve student and staff mental health outcomes, come find us today at mentalhealthliteracy.org.